In this video, I'm going to share my notes on the installation of the Curator functions for Resilient. Of course, first thing you do is you download the actual uh, package. And what you'll get is this tar.gz uh, file. I also went ahead and downloaded this documentation and is uh, this PDF in here. Uh, again, I had a few challenges uh, looking at it, but it's actually, uh, you know, pretty pretty useful information. And you see, you'll see the, com the, the 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 stuff that I will be doing is mostly described in here. After you've done that, I use uh, FileZilla to put it into the slash home res admin uh, directory. And I executed several commands. Let me show you the ones I did following the documentation. I did the pip install upgrade, it asked me for the password. And this is going to say that everything is, uh, well, actually, yeah, yeah, th that is correct. Then the next command was the upgrade uh, setup tools and this runs and say everything is fine because I, I uh, run it before and finally I did the upgrade uh, resilient circuits which uh, works well. Now the instruction calls for doing uh, the actually this command I mean the home resadmin uh, directory sudo pip install fn tap oops underscore tap and I run these uh, with this command. What I have to do before I actually did this is actually unzip the file as I download it because it was a dot zip so you need to actually do the unzip and then run this command and that works like a charm the instruction recommends you uh, to run all these things under a user called integration because this is my demo system I just did it on my uh, standard uh, uh, res, uh, res admin ID that I have then the instruction asks you to run resilient circuits config that's you as an update if you never run this you may have to use the option C for uh, create apparently that's what the, the, those stand and that's gonna create a file in this specific directory and that's the piece that I did not find in the documentation uh, maybe it is obvious for those that knows uh, resilient well so if we see in here that app config is the one that uh, you need to edit and make some changes. So in the first part you need to because this is the same resilient machine that I'm running this from I just put local domain I put my email address the defining my uh, uh, system I use I did not use the uh, the keychain for the password again for for a demo so that's my password of my demo system I, uh, my organization is uh, I put IBM in there now this is where you're gonna be if you want to debug this where you want to get your logs I left them into temp uh, and you have an option here uh, actually the, the file came with the option info and I changed that to debug uh, to, to see the verbosity on the actual uh, logs files then in here you need to specify ca file equals false I did not find that in the actual documentation and the last part is the you need to specify where the curator machine is so I put the IP address of my curator box the username of my curator system and the password again I'm not using the keychain and then you need to specify that I'm not using SSL so verify cert equals false you save that file and you are almost there so you need to run the resilient circuits, circuits uh, manually as uh, the documentation states here
and leave that running for the integration to work. Now in here there's a documentation how you make this uh, run continuously as a service. Okay, I did not uh, follow that. Now one more thing, if you are, and that is all you need to do for this to get this integration to work, if you want to do some debugging when you are running these things and you want to see if something is not working, how to look besides the logs I just told you about, you can go into the resilient uh, UI and the incident that I was uh, dealing with was this one with the address 188. So I go into it and here on their actions you can see, you know, for example, action status or workflow status or go into action status and start the default is pending error and this is when I was actually trying to get this stuff installed. I was running into some issues. If you select all, you see all the details uh, of all the actions when, when it actually was uh, successful. So again, a, a simple way of uh, getting more information, debugging this in case that you run into any problem. Uh, look at the documentation. There are several things that you can do with this. And again, it's, it's a template for you to modify it and put a more flexible integration between Curator and Resilient.